liquid resistance in the series combination of two horizontal tubes. Liquid resistance offered by the two horizontal tubes connected in the series combination. Liquid resistance offered by the horizontal tubes connected in series combination and the rate of flow of liquid. In the diagram we have the two tubes which are connected in series combination. XZ is the first tube and ZY is the second tube or another tube. The first tube that is XZ has the length L1. The tube horizontal tube XZ has the length L1. L2 is the length of the other tube and we can denote the axis. This is the axis common axis of the two tubes which are connected in series combination. This is the axis of the two tubes. We can denote the pressure at the two ends of the two tubes. R1 is the radius of the first tube exit of length L1. R1 is the radius. Similarly, R2 is the radius of the other tube ZY. Px and Pz are the pressure of the ends X and Z of the tube Z, and Py is the pressure of the end Y of the tube ZY. So, and we can denote the pressure difference across the pipe or tube exit. P1 is the pressure difference across the two ends of the pipe exit and P2 is the pressure difference acting across the two ends Z and Y of the tube ZY. So, P1 and P2 are the pressure difference acting across the two ends of the two pipes. Now, Px is greater than Pz, pressure at the end x is greater than the pressure at the end z and uh, Px is greater than Pz greater than Py. That's why the pressure difference P1 is equal to Px minus Pz and other pressure difference across the pipe Zy is P2 equal Pz minus Py. As Px is greater than Py, that's why liquid will be flowing towards right with the rate v by t and with the speed small v and liquid will emerge out from the tube zy with the same rate v by t with the same rate of flow of liquid v by t here liquid is entering or flowing into the pipe exit and from the other end liquid is uh, liquid emerges here uh, liquid flows or flow of liquid here flow of liquid occurs towards right liquid flows into the pipe exit towards right and uh, the liquid same liquid emerges out from the end y of the tube zy with the same rate v by t here the liquid emerges from the end y that means liquid emerges towards right emerges towards right and this is the series combination of this is the series combination of the two tubes we can denote the rate of flow of liquid that is v by t in the first tube exit, liquid flows uh, but as the two tubes are connected in series combination. In that case, rate of flow of liquid through the two tubes will be same. V by T is the rate of flow of liquid through the first tube exit and again V by T is the rate of flow of liquid through the another tube or, or, or the other tube ZY or through the narrow tube ZY. So, rate of flow of liquid through the two tubes connected in series combination will be same. But the tube exit offers liquid resistance R1 towards left in the opposite direction of flow of liquid. R1 is the liquid resistance which is offered by the tube towards left. Again, R2 is the liquid resistance offered by the other tube ZY against the rate of flow of liquid. That means the liquid resistance R2 acts towards left. R1 is the liquid resistance offered by the first tube exit 
let the two horizontal tubes of radii R1 and R2 and lens L1 and L2 be connected in series combination, be connected in the series combination as shown in the figure, be connected in series combination. The rate of flow of liquid, the rate of flow of liquid through the first tube exit under the pressure difference, under the pressure difference P1 equal Px minus Pz is given by V by T equal pi P1, pi P1 R2 to the power 4, R1 to the power 4 divided by 8 eta L1, pi P1 R1 to the power 4 divided by 8 eta L1 using Poissy-Willis formula, using Poissy-Willis formula. Therefore, V by T, that is the rate of flow of liquid is, is equal to P1 divided by 8 eta L1 divided by pi R1 to the power 4. In the last line, it should be R1 to the power 4. We get V by T as P1 divided by 8 eta L1 the whole divided by pi R1 to the power 4. Similarly, the rate of flow of liquid through the other tube Zy, through the other another tube Zy, under the pressure difference, under the pressure difference, P2 equal Pz minus Py is given by V by T is equal P2 whole divided by 8 eta L2 divided by pi r to the power 4. So we get the rate of flow of liquid through the other tube Zy or through the second tube Zy. Where the denominator in the expression of V by T, this is the equation 1 and equation 2, where R1 equal 8 eta L1 divided by pi R1 to the power 4, which is the liquid resistance, which is the liquid resistance offered R1 equal 8 eta L1 divided by pi R1 to the power 4, which is the liquid resistance offered by the tube exit and R2 is equal 8 eta L2 divided by pi R1 to the R2 to the power 4, which is also the liquid resistance offered by the other tube Zy against the rate of against the flow of liquid r2 equal 8 eta l2 divided by pi r2 to the power 4 which is the liquid resistance offered by another tube zy another tube zy now in the diagram v by t is the rate of flow of liquid through the tube exit and R1 is the liquid resistance offered by this tube exit and R1 is the liquid resistance offered by the tube exit which is equal to 8 eta L1 divided by pi R1 to the power 4. Pressure difference across the pipe exit is P1 equal Px minus Pz and uh, Px is greater than Pz and also V by T is the rate of flow of liquid flowing through the tube Zy. R2 is the liquid resistance offered by the tube Zy. So, R2 is the denominator of equation 2, that is R2 equal 8 eta L2 divided by pi R2 to the power 4, which is the liquid resistance offered by the other tube Zy. Comparing equation 1 and 2, comparing the equations 1 and 2, we get, comparing the equations 1 and 2, we get V by T is equal P1 divided by 8 eta L1 divided by pi R1 to the power 4 is equal P2 divided by 8 eta L2 divided by pi R2 to the power 4. They are the same because uh, liquid flows with the same rate through the two tubes as they are connected in series combination. So simplifying we get V by T 
as equal P1 plus P2 divided by A theta L1 plus divided by pi R1 to the power 4 plus A theta L2 divided by pi R to the power 4. Assuming the rate of flow of liquid, assuming the rate of flow of liquid through the two tubes Xz and Zy, assuming the rate of flow of liquid through the two tubes Xz and Zy will be same or are the same. So V by T is the rate of flow of liquid through the tubes Zy. Again V by T is the rate of flow of liquid through the other tube Zy. So finally putting the expression of P1 and P2 we get Px minus Pz plus bracket open Pz minus Py divided by 8 eta L1 divided by pi R1 to the power 4 plus 8 eta L2 divided by pi up to the power 4. Therefore V by T is equal Px minus Py V by t equal px minus py 8 eta l1 divided by pi r1 to the power 4 plus 8 eta l2 divided by pi r to the power 4. We get the rate of flow of liquid. We get the expression of rate of flow of liquid through the series combination of the two tubes xz and zy. V by t is the rate of flow of liquid where px and py are the liquid pressure of the ns x and y of the series combination. For liquid resistance, again, rate of flow of liquid through the series combination of two pipes is V by T equal Px minus Py divided by Rs, where Rs is the equivalent liquid resistance offered by the series combination of two tubes where Rs is the equivalent liquid resistance equivalent liquid resistance equivalent liquid, liquid uh, resistance offered by the series combination of two tubes and if we denote equation 3 and 4 comparing equation 3 and 4 comparing equations 3 and 4 we get Rs is equal 8 eta L1 divided by pi R1 to the power 4 plus 8 eta L2 divided by pi R to the power 4. This is the expression of equivalent liquid resistance. Equivalent liquid resistance. This is the expression of equivalent liquid resistance that is Rs equal A theta L1 divided by pi R1 to the power 4 plus A theta L2 pi R to the power 4. Equivalent resistance of the series combination of the two tubes that is uh, equal that is Rs. Rs is the equivalent resistance therefore Rs is equal R1 plus R2 where R1 and R2 are the liquid resistances of the two tubes.